Welcome back to Josiah Plays Deus Ex Human Revolution. Sneaking around, got a couple guards left in this building that I want to take out. See, I remember seeing these guys from the other side of this room, because right over there is where the sky bridge is. Uh, so we have the ogre there, and we have that guy. He doesn't really look like he's... Mm. Oh, the ogre's moving around. Interesting. Interesting. Where does he go? He goes over there, huh? Well... Is there a way for me to get... Oh, I'd probably get... If I come... Oh, hold on. I'm gonna turn on silent running. Uh, no, nothing interesting over here. What's what's upstairs? Where, where does this take me? Well, to another whole floor, obviously, is the answer to that question. Is that the sky bridge? Kind of has to be, right? Let's see if I can overhear something here. Huh? Yeah, I wonder why. I got something for you. And I'm still cloaked. I heard that. Did you? Did you hear this? I had all that extra energy, so I figured might as well burn some of it. Okay. These two guys dealt with. I thought since they were standing together that maybe they'd be having a conversation that I could listen in on, but no. Hawker Secretary, passcodes from Stephen Higgins to Abigail O'Connor. Uh, SPC O'Connor, the new login information for your computer is as follows. User, A. O'Connor. Password, Kepler. Contact me if you have any questions. Okay. Didn't detect any uh, little jokes in that one, but uh, Kepler could be a reference to something that I'm not... Uh... Trank darts, a trank rifle... Oh, I can actually take those trank darts, huh? Okay. There's another vent. Here's... What do we have? A couple computers that are locked. So let's hack this one first. Oh, here's a here's a Abigail O'Connor's computer. I'm going to take it to Hacktown. I don't care, I'm nuking. <laughs> At this point, I don't even... You know, like... Why even conserve stuff? Okay. Access granted. Yelena Fedorova. Oh, that is the female super augd mercenary who was the second boss that we fought. You remember when we fought her in the uh, big room with uh, the AI uh, Eliza with all the water and she was cloaking and everything? Yeah, her. That's Yelena Fedorova. So she actually just sent this person an email. Well, not just. Obviously, she sent it before she died at our hands. But, you know, that's interesting that it's from her, though. Sweep and clean. SPC O'Connor. The lab Sevchenko was using in the microgen building has been officially cleaned from top to bottom. No forensic team in the world would be able to find trace materials in there now. Change the door code to 5377 and let admin know they can reassign it. Lieutenant Commander Yelena Fedorova, Bell Tower. So she just... So, oh, I wonder if all those mercs actually work for Bell Tower. Or maybe just her. Interesting. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay. Mark Solansky to Abigail O'Connor and Lou Morano. Uh, okay, so we got a whole chain of... So Lou Morano wrote... So I just got another request from Dwayne. Ha, <laughs> they're making fun of Dwayne. Oh, that Dwayne is the name of the, is the subject of the email. Here we go. Another request from Dwayne to have a hidden camera installed in his lab. Should we play along and humor him? 
He still thinks it's just one of the other eggheads in his department that's putting all the farm porn on his PC. Private Lou Morano. Abigail O'Connor wrote, Ah ha 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 ha, sure. We could even record one of us wearing a lab tech uniform the next time we do it. Specialist O'Connor. <laughs> I can't wait to see the look on his face when he sees what I did with his stapler. PFC Mark Zelansky. Oh, so it's the, it's the security guys that have been fucking with Wayne. Oh, poor Wayne. Sounds like a ridiculous person, though. Look at that. It's a pocket secretary. Hold on. I'm going to read this. Well, let's grab that first. R-E-R-E, uh, -E, Biomech Laser Code. From Dwayne Hicks to Jonathan Hicks. Jonathan Hicks wrote, Hey, bro. Chavez wants me to check something in the Biomech morgue. Can you send me the access code to shut down the elevator laser grid? PFC Jonathan Hicks. Sure, it's 2535. By the way, you coming to the poker game this week? Corporal Dwayne Hicks. All right, so the Hicks brothers are part of the Bell Tower team here. And I'm sure Bell Tower is happy to have them. All right, here we go. Okay, Donato's computer. All right. Let's get our capture on. What? Now that was some bogus. I may, in fact. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take another run at that one. Getting caught on that very first one was nonsense. I'll take this one at least and then fortify everything back along the line there. And that should give me plenty of time. Access granted. Nice. Fifteen credits, alright. From Jeron Namir. Oh, wait a minute. I just realized something. You know who Namir is? Namir is the the last mercenary. He's the leader of the of the of the mercenaries that had Barrett and and Yelena. That's who Jeron Namir is. Okay, this is interesting. All right, to Casper Donato because we just saw another email or something from him not very long ago, and I didn't I didn't put two and two together and remember that that's who he was. But that is who he is. Uh, and we have not yet faced him, but I have a feeling we will. Probably soon. To Casper Donato. File 11478. Here's a copy of the file on their security specialist. Shouldn't be a problem. I'll also send you copies of the assets files. Jensen Adam. Mayo, Caucasian. Birth location, unknown. Uncown, actually, but we're, we're assuming he meant unknown. Date of birth, 1993. 34 years old. Huh. That's interesting. Uh, both parents deceased, 1998. Foster parents located in the Detroit area. College education, University of Phoenix, just like everyone else in this game. Because you always see the diplomas on the walls, and most of them all say University of Phoenix. Associate degree in criminal justice. Sworn officer, DMPD, 2014. SWAT, 2018. Quits DMPD in 2026. So he was on the SWAT team for eight years, and on the force for 12 years. Hired by Seraph Industries six months later. Addendum. Recently augmented. Military grade. Armed and extremely dangerous. Current status. Alive. Yeah. Current status. Coming for yo ass. Jaron Namir. Casper Donato. File. 11473. Reed. Megan. Female. Caucasian. Birth location. Seattle. Date of birth. 1995. 32 years old. Moved to North California around 2009-2010. Moved to France. 2012. Ragnu graduated magna cum laude, neurology and psychology. She probably did not go to the University of, Phys of, of, of Phoenix. Returned to United States, 2018. Hired by Seraph Industries, 2020. Genetic research. Head of the science team, 2023. So 2018, she came back to the U.S. 2018 is when uh, we joined SWAT. So that they might have met somewhere around there. Head of the science team 2023, current status acquired, right, because they got her. Uh, and here's files on the other three on her team, or other four. Uh, Eric Koss, male, Caucasian, birth location, Norway, date of birth 2000, 27 years old, very promising student, fast progression, personality issues, moved to United States 2024, hired by Seraph Industries 2024, current status acquired. Colvin, Nia. 
Female, African American, birth location Detroit, date of birth 1982, 45 years old, blue collar family, graduated magna cum laude, MIT, biochemistry 2007, nice, so she's very smart. Hired by Latham Systems 2008, fired after TYM hostile takeover of Latham in 2020, Taiyang Medical take, taking shit over. Hired by Seraph Industries in 2020, current status acquired. Sevchenko, Vasily, current status, deceased. Faraday, Declan. Male, Caucasian, birth location, Dublin. Right, so he's Irish. Date of birth, unknown, which you could maybe get, gain from the name. Uh, around 1975 to 80, so they don't even know when he was born. That's interesting. MIT student, acquaintance of David Seraph, worked for British Ministry of Defense, 2002. Hired, moved to United States 2018, hired by Seraph Industries 2018, current status acquired. Okay, so this is the interesting stuff we're getting into now. So th those three mercs that we've been looking for this whole time are like directly Bell Tower people. So Bell Tower is way more tied up in all this than even we thought before. And let's crawl through a vent. How about that? The vent leads us into another office. Office O oh, fun. Fun office. A Fofus. Ooh, ebook. Fofus. Oh, good. A stopworm. Good. Maybe I can hack something now, huh? What else we got here? Here's a computer. Here's a trash can with a bunch of. Shouldn't that stuff be shredded? Apparently not sensitive documents. Or recycled, for Christ's sake. Well, they probably recycle all the... Everything here. I don't know. Anyway, um... Uh, Ebook, huh? The Shadow of Omega. Chapter 4. The 2018 Accident. Omega Ranch was a massive undertaking. A highly secure site with multiple labs and research departments. Along with support structures and an accommodation complex. In 2009, the Disease Control Initiative opened their doors to the world's doctors. But the facility was dogged by technical issues, staffing problems, and underfunding. The, presser, the pressures of the World Health Organization staff at the isolated facility grew, and finally in 2018, the worst case scenario came to pass. A breach in containment led to the explosive spread of a modified variant of the H5N1 avian flu virus, which swept across Malaysia, killing tens of thousands of people, and that was when? 2018. The exact details of the cause of the outbreak are unclear, although some conspiracists have insisted that the event was deliberately triggered by clandestine groups, perhaps as an attempt to destabilize the region. The epidemic would have lasting effects on Malaysia. Oh yeah, there's no fucking way that was an accident. Either, either some crazies were behind it, some terrorists, or just straight up the conspiracy, Illuminati people. I mean, accident my ass, right? We know that wasn't no accident. Accidents don't even happen, basically, <laughs> in this world. Uh, okay, so how about a computer here? Omega admin to Omega all safety and regulation reminders. So nothing else new or interesting on that computer. Let me see here. I'm going to go back through this vent. Oh, yeah. I took these two guards out in here. There's... Okay. So this is the big open room, and that's the last two guys down there, the, the ogre and the other guy. Right? So let's leave that alone for the moment. Let's... Uh, Hack an unnecessary door real quick. That's always fun to do. So... I'll go to Nuketown on both of these. I don't even care. Ask me if I care. I don't. That's the answer. I don't. Okay. I'm out of here. Access granted. Nuke virus. Stop worm. Great door open. That's the room I was just in, so. Oh, and those are the stairs I came up. Okay, uh, that is all the time I have for this video. So, thank you for watching. Josiah Plays, Deus Ex, Human Revolution. I'll see you next time.